He's real big around here in Charlottesville, if you guys uh, didn't know. Thomas Jefferson actually lived in Charlottesville. That's where Monticello is, um, his historic house, and he founded UVA. So Thomas Jefferson, or people call him TJ, he's a really big deal. People still rock his style today, pretty much. Today, I don't have class, obviously, because it's 7.35 right now, and my class starts at 8, so since I'm here, obviously that's indicative that there is no class today. Um, yesterday was actually the last day of new material for the exam, so tomorrow is just a review. So I really need to get my test corrections done. I have five quick little problems left on the homework, and both of those assignments are due tomorrow, but the test is, the final exam that is, is on Saturday morning at 8 a.m. So I really need to get my shit together today. So anyways, let's get on with the day. I need to study, I need to do these test corrections, but I also need to eat. So let's cook up some eggs. And for the count, this is about seven ounces of potatoes diced. It was like 6.84 when I measured it out. And four eggs covered with some Cholula salt and pepper. That is breakfast. All right, so now it is about a little bit past 12.30 and I decided to come out here on a little balcony to do a little bit of free riding and just kind of like plan out my day tomorrow, plan out the rest of the day today and try and get motivated because this morning I really haven't had the focus or concentration again to study or do my test corrections and I'm running out of time and I really need to study for my final exam on Saturday morning. But I couldn't resist coming out here outside because it's gorgeous. Although it is really humid and my lens here is already fogging up really quickly but I'm just gonna sit out here and you know do a little bit of writing I've got this whole blank page in front of me and I'm gonna fill it out also I want you guys to know uh, to keep up with the theme of this video which is a full day of eating I ate four pop-tarts uh, in between the last clip and this one for like a little snack so I need to eat some real food here real soon probably gonna do like some chicken with the corn and bean salsa and a sweet potato so I'm gonna sit out here I'm gonna write this out and I'll catch you guys in the next clip all right you guys so check it out I wrote a little bit down like I said I was going to do earlier and I just wanted to share with you guys some of the things that I wrote so I broke down some of the things that I wanted to focus on in this eight week transformation. If you want to call it that, I wrote down some things and then I categorized them. So I have three categories. I have a mental category, an athletic category, and then a diet category. So yeah, mental, athletic, diet. Um, I'll just run through the things that I have in each of them, starting with the diet. So. I want to focus on the morning apple cider vinegar shot. I want to focus on eating more fermented foods and then counting my macros. 
Um, so I haven't been counting my macros and uh, I haven't been doing these things except for eating the fermented foods uh, like the natto which you guys saw on day two. Um, so I need to work on that obviously but that's what these videos are for. It's for accountability and I want to show you guys me strategizing and then implementing. So strategize, implement, strategize, implement. Um, so that accounts for the diet category, kind of short. Um, the next category, this one has the most items in it, is the athletic category. So I want to focus on my whole powerlifting, bodybuilding sort of thing that I've got going on. Specifically, I'm going to be training with the Ogus 753 system. So I bought that back in, gosh, when it came out in like 2016. And so I'm going to be following that program because I've looked back in my notebook and excuse me, the most gains that I ever made were when I was running that program specifically. So I'm going to be running Ogus 753. I obviously want to improve at my jujitsu game. Um, and then the next four are well. Here I'll hold off for a sec. Uh, running. I want to be able to run a 5k again because I used to run cross country in high school so I need to work on my cardio a lot. Um, so I guess the next three then are kind of accessories to the previous three categories of bodybuilding, jiu jitsu, and running. These next three are accessories if those previous three were like the core of the athletic category. I'm focusing on pull ups. so pull-ups, handstands, and then I need to do more stretching and mobility work. Um, so that's pretty self-explanatory. Last category, mental category, we've got no fat, cold showers, meditation, and cognitive behavioral therapy. Now I already go to normal therapy, but cognitive behavioral therapy you do to yourself. So basically I have a sheet like this and it has these six columns and they have categories above them that say well you can't read them so I'll just read them to you guys but it has like situation, the emotion, automatic thoughts, cognitive distortions, rational response, and outcome. And so basically you just like whenever you have these toxic mental thoughts you're supposed to write them down and then if you go out and google cognitive distortions there's a list of like 11 to 17, depending on what source you get the list from, of these different cognitive distortions which you use to rationally analyze those toxic negative thoughts with and you work through them on paper and it's something you just do by yourself and so I found that super helpful and that's something that I'm going to be focusing on more. So I remember at the beginning of 2019, I had my three pronged approach to trying to deal with myself um, was fermented foods, jujitsu, and cognitive behavioral therapy. So I've kind of expanded right upon what categories in my life those uh, take place in and then what other things I already have in those categories that I can work on and build on. Um, so as you can see this strategy I've sort of had in the back of my mind for a while now but I'm you know with this vlog series I'm really getting around to implementing it um, as far as the food for today goes I ate another six pop-tarts drank some more milk and then I've been pounding these freaking Red Bulls so today has been kind of a fail as far as the whole diet goes I've just been so stressed for my exam that's coming up at the end of the week uh, and the fact that I've been just so wishy-washy about oh should I do test corrections today or should I study and then right now it's 5.30 and I haven't done either I've just kind of nervously gone back and forth between them in my head so I don't know I'll try to get some stuff done tonight because since I've been pounding these cold boys uh, I don't know how my sleep is gonna be but Let's see, I've got another three minutes left on my sweet potato in the oven. Um, but I won't be able to eat it for another hour because I let it cool down in the oven. Anyways, I'm going to cut this video off right here. Hope you guys have enjoyed watching 
the Independence Day vlog. It's kind of been a fail as far as showing you something exciting. I didn't do any Independence Day celebrating and then I wanted to study and actually show you guys that that's what I've been doing, but then that didn't turn out because I really haven't gotten a lot done today. So, at least I talked more with, with you guys about what the point of this vlog series is about. We've got it down on paper. Oh, the other thing I wrote down before I go is everything that I'm going to be doing when I, uh, for tomorrow. So from the moment that I wake up, I wrote everything down. Um, I guess I won't go into detail since this is already kind of getting pretty long, but the idea is that I just want to be efficient and by writing it down, I'm going to read over what I wrote down tonight and first thing when I wake up tomorrow morning, that way hopefully my day will be more efficient than today because today was kind of a fail, but hopefully you guys will see in tomorrow's vlog that everything will be better. You know, and little things like the gym being closed today just kind of like peeve me. So, um, yeah, tomorrow's going to be a better day. Hope you guys had a good Independence Day or a good day whenever you're watching this. And go watch my previous days. Day 1, 2, and 3 are already up. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace. So, quick update for all those who care. Watch all my videos. Subscribe, comment. Thank <laughs> you.